<laughs> I hope I have that problem a few more times this season. <laughs> but you have a unique senior class. Uh, you know, you've got guys coming in from all over the various times. How, how would you sum up this class as a whole? Well, they've all contributed in their own ways. Uh, obviously, you know, Manny's new to the party, uh, just come in this year and, uh, you know, provided us some stability at that center position. Actually, the team we're playing tomorrow night, DePaul. Uh, you know, he had his best conference game of the year and was really, uh, you know, pretty influential on us winning that game in Chicago. Um, you know, and then, you know, Marcus obviously has had a terrific two years and is, you know, I could be more proud of not just the player he's become, but the person that he's turned out to be over the course of his time here. And then, you know, Toby and Tyler, this is their fifth year in our program. You know, the, you see them grow up. They came here as kids. They're leaving here as men. And, um, you know, they've represented our program in a first-class manner every step of the way, and they've played whatever role we've asked them to play. Uh, and sometimes that meant playing a lot. Sometimes it meant not playing very much. But they've always came to work every day with a smile on their face and, and wanting to get their teammates better. So uh, they certainly have left a legacy here and uh, you know hopefully there's a lot of good things ahead for them in the future. You talk a lot this about the leadership of the seniors it has um, and you've been I mean you praised them for what they've done for a good reason but was there a point when you realized you'd be okay and because I wonder going into a year you're probably a little bit uncertain about who's going to step up and how they're going to do it. Yeah. Was there and they, a point when you 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 were like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna be. Fine. You, you, could, you could see it some in the summer, but it really started to, to manifest itself in the in the fall uh, with our workouts, and then early in practice, it just you know the way that uh, uh, you know the freshmen responded to this group, and they all lead in their own special way, um, but it's all been very effective, and, and the four of them have a great relationship along in yeah, Taz to that. You know, they, they have a lot of respect for each other. They hold each other accountable, and they've done a great job of bringing the young guys along at a pace that was comfortable for them, yet at the same time held them accountable because obviously we've got some young guys playing important roles on our team and have been an, a, vital to our success. So that doesn't happen unless the leadership's on the same page, and those guys have been from day one. When you look back at Marcus's career, mm -hmm. Uh, the guy's got a flair for hitting big shots. You know, I, I remember, you know, watching him uh, when he was going to make the transfer. You know, I think he hit two game-winning shots against Oklahoma, if I'm not mistaken, in the same year. One at K-State, one in, one in Norman. Uh, and, you know, he practices those shots. But, you know, I, I'm just – I'm so pleased of the progress that he's made. You know, he was – he came here kind of a broken individual, and he'd kind of lost his way. And, you know, with the help of his family, we were able to get him back on track. But that doesn't happen unless Marcus buys in. And he certainly bought into what we've asked him to do. He's really improved in every phase of the game. And, you know, we'll go down as one of the elite scorers to ever play here. Uh, you know, he's, he's, you know he's, he's hit some big shots for us after big shot um, and has impacted winning in a lot of ways. So, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of what he's become and, you know, look – like the like the rest of us look forward to see what the future holds for him how do you um, keep the uh, energy on the game as well because there's a lot of emotion on these senior nights and you got a, a big game to win before all that it's a huge game and you know we were lucky to win the game in chicago we trailed really you know 75 percent of that game and, and paul is you know, played good basketball with their win against Marquette. And, you know, they had Xavier down 17 at Xavier earlier this year. They play a one possession game right down to the end of Seton Hall and, uh, you know, go to Georgetown and win. So that this is a this is a, a good basketball team and, a, and you know, we have to be ready to go. And I think our guys understand that. I think they understand we, we got away with one in Chicago and we're going to need to play much better. But I also remember, you know, going back to your own senior day and all of a sudden you show up for practice the day before and realize, you know, this is my last practice of the century. And uh, so there's a lot of things that go you through your head, a lot of reflection, I think, uh, as, as the last of something starts to take place. But, uh, you know, I'm confident that our guys understand the importance of the game and hopefully we'll come out and, you know, give, a, give another great effort. Two more for Coach. Uh, Marcus, Mark, I asked Marcus if this, the win against Villanova allows you to exhale, and he said, no, we have to stay with our edge. I'm sure as a coach, that's music to your ears. Yeah, we, there's no question we had an edge, and even even through fatigue late in that game, because they were gassed uh, at that four-minute timeout when we called that timeout. But, you know, fortunately, we got the dunk and got a stop, and Marcus hit the three, and I think that gave us a little life. I'd have been worried had, had they gotten a stop coming out of that timeout. 
Um, but, you know, we, we finished the game and, uh, you know, we were on fumes in overtime, but our execution and our attention to detail and us flying around and getting rebounds in traffic uh, are things we're going to need to do. And, you know, DePaul is one of the best, is the best offensive rebounding team in the Big East. Uh, so we're going to need a heck of an effort. We don't know whether Ronnie will play or not. He's our best rebounder. So, it, you know, the, that really uh, puts the onus on the rest of the guys to really do a good job from a fundamental standpoint. Or will you try to have to get Ronnie in? Practicing, or is he? I don't think he'll practice today. I haven't seen him yet, but uh, uh, my anticipation is uh, that he won't be available today. So game time, probably a game time decision. Yeah. Thank you. Um, actually means a lot to me. It's just ending up in my final like collegiate career. So it's just going to be like an emotional night, especially that you know being with a great group of guys that I have. And the great group of coaches that we have is this is going to be great. I'm going to miss it. Is this what you? I mean, it's kind of been a long journey for you to have it end here in Omaha. It's got to be kind of uh, rewarding for you in a sense, I would imagine. Oh yeah, this. Yeah, this has just been such a great journey for me, especially like the journey I've had in the past. I'm so grateful to just end where I am now. Except, it's Omaha. It's actually very peaceful. So yeah. <laughs> When you uh, just kind of take us through the course of the career, you or through the course of this season for you, you've had moments where you've been a key contributor. You've had moments where you've had to um, just kind of keep yourself ready, and maybe you haven't gotten the minutes. How have you sort of navigated that? Um, maybe sort of uncertainty, or, or just kind of bearing role that you've had, at least on the court. Um, the one thing I learned in my journey is that no, no matter what, what your position is, if keep uh, being a major key or keep, you know, helping out. My position is always important no matter what, you know, even even when the camera's off, being here preparing, you know, Toby, Teeny, Jacob, preparing myself and other guys to, to, the, to the big level competitors that we have here. For example, like DePaul, we have a big, they have the big man. So it's my duty, it's my job to help them prepare and get ready for it. And, but you may you may end up contributing too. Yeah. So you have to stay ready in that aspect. Yeah, too. it's it's just great. I'm like I'm just grateful where I am, the position I have, just being here because the one thing that actually Coach Mac uh, explained to us is that you just appreciate where you have because a lot of people don't, and I'm just blessed to be where I am. Two more for me. Good. Uh, Zero good. more. That's exciting. I mean, it just kind of hit me today. This is my last practice here at CenturyLink Center. Um, but it's pretty exciting after five years to be able to kind of see it all come to an end here pretty soon. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I have a lot of family here. Ross, your light is strobing. Describe what you guys as leaders have tried to do for this team. I mean, we've, I feel like we've talked a lot about your impact throughout the year. But I mean, maybe... Was there a point in the summer where you guys, you, Marcus, Toby, said, said hey, we got to do this, this, and this? Or how did, how did that kind of come together the way you guys have led this team? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of been, you know, all throughout the last year or so, Max kind of impressed, especially upon us three seniors, like you just mentioned, who have been here about leading the team, whether it's verbally, vocally, or, you know, as, a, as an example. And so I think, you know, over the last year, we've kind of all had our own style of leading, and it's kind of worked out pretty well because the young guys we've had have responded great to us, and they've, you know, always been willing to learn and willing to listen. So, I don't know, it's just been a fun team because we've all together had our own leadership styles, and we've done a good job of it. Yeah, so do you, is it just sort of you kind of look to one another? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, a, kind of, we, feel, we each I mean, kind of have, like, our own way of leading, like I said, okay. so we all have our own role, kind of, and uh, it's worked out well, and the, it helps when you have guys that are willing to listen like the young guys are. Is there a moment that sticks out, maybe, whether it be playing here or not? Just know, throughout my whole career? Yeah. yeah. Um, like, I mean, there's a lot of them. Uh, yeah. Just the other day was a fun one, you know, beating Nova, obviously. But, I mean, there's so many memories, whether it was the first year here when we were first in the Big East, uh, this last year. I mean, last year making the Big East final, mm -hmm. being a part of that, not my redshirt year. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. It's, there's way too many memories to remember. Is there, um, when you look back at your own career, obviously it's team sport, but you personally, are you about, is this what you thought? Is this what you expected? Uh, it's it's always tough to like say what I expected, but I definitely felt like I could play at this level, and I'm very proud of what I've been able to do. And so, uh, yeah, it's been a dream come true. I couldn't have, couldn't have worked out better. Mm -hmm.
From your vantage point, what worked out so well for you guys on Saturday against Nova? And can you guys translate that down the road? Yeah, I think with Saturday and Nova, we kind of got back to defending as well as we did earlier in the year. Um, the offense is there a lot of times for us, but just the commitment on the defensive end was huge for us. They still are obviously hit some tough shots. That's what Nova does, but we, we brought it our energy a lot better for some of the 50-50 balls, 50-50 plays that necessarily weren't going our way the last couple games, and we, we made a point to it all week getting back to that and hopefully we can sustain that because we've seen we've shown that we can play really well defensively and when we put when we put the defense with the offense we're tough to beat anything else i'll get you a manny okay thank you very much thank you thank it means a lot to me just because um i mean last year you know i didn't think i would have a chance to have a senior night just because of you know debating off i wanted to go pro or come back another season so it means a lot to me and you know going through this will be my fifth senior night and have seen all the guys go through it and have have a great night is something i want to experience you know you look at this journey you came it wasn't like the standard thing to come here and play four years talk about this journey and what it meant. um it's been a long journey for me five years i never thought i'd been in college for five years but it's been an exciting time for me you know something Something I dreamed about as a kid, playing college basketball. So I'm excited I get to live it. And, you know, it's sad that it's coming to an end. But, you know, I'm excited for my long career I had. How do you manage the emotions? Because you've been through it, but never as the one being honored. So how do you how do you kind of get your mind right, knowing that there's a big game to be played? Um, You know, for me, I got to take, take care of my business first. You know, with our race we got right now, we, we need these last two wins. So, you know, I'm going to have to be at my best. So for me to have a good night, I'm going to have to take care of the business on the court. So... That's my first thing I'm going to have to do tomorrow night. Is there some sense of relief or maybe like by beating Villanova, I mean, you guys mm -hmm. are more or less in now. I mean, is there a sense of being like, okay, we were there and now you can kind of play a little looser maybe? I don't know. Um, no, definitely not looser. For us, we have to we have to keep that same uh, attitude we had when we were playing Villanova. You know, a lot of us saying, you know, we're not leaving that gym without a win. So next games we play through the rest of the season, we have to have that mindset of we're going to win every game, but we're going to do it the right way this time instead of, you know, how we've been playing lazy. So we got to get up and play our hearts out. Keep an edge. Yep, <laughs> yep, there you go. Marcus, did you kind of exceed your expectations here, or did you know that you'd have the type of career you'd have here? What did you think when you came here? Um, you know, coming to Creighton, I, I knew I had a chance to have a good career just because of uh, how the offensive is. It fits me so well, and... You know, I knew if I put the time in, it could happen. So, you know, I, I just kept working hard through everything. And I told myself I wanted to have a good senior year. That's why I put so much work in in the off season. So, you know, I'm glad it's coming to an end and it's, everything's going good. Uh, the fact that you've got a, you know, a, ch a chance for a championship next week, I mean, is, is a title mean more to you than the personal honors you probably get all conference and all that? What would it? A championship movie. Oh yeah, biggest championship is what I always talk about all year. No matter, no matter how many points I score or whatever I have to do, I'm gonna do it. If it means I have to cheer all game for the for us to win the championship, that's what I'm gonna do. You know that that's what it's gonna take. You know, being the leader of this team, you know, for every game I have to come out now and I have to be prepared for whatever's gonna happen. What's it been like to play in this building and in this atmosphere? Uh, this this building is one of the best. You know. Um, Having 18,000 fans come out and to show you support almost every night is is a blessing for us, and I'm gonna be able to miss it. You know, talking to Doug uh, this summer, he always told me to enjoy my time here this this time this this season, just because you're not gonna have any games like this, and there's no other crowd like the Creighton fans. What are you gonna miss the most about playing at Creighton? The games, you know, that, that game on Saturday was so much fun and how much energy the crowd and, you know, how much energy they fed off of me is something I love and I'm excited I got to experience that moment. It's something I remember the rest of my life. Hey, you said a year ago that you didn't know what the future held in terms of whether you'd be back and whatnot. How close, like, can you take us back to a year ago and do you talk to Kyrie about that same mindset? Because he's, he's probably going through that right now about now. Yeah, he's, going, he's he's definitely going through it right now. Kyrie's such a good player. He put himself in a great position to be a great professional. So, you know, what I tell Kyrie, kind of same thing I told Justin, uh, you know, you have to you have to do what's best for you, you know. For me, it was coming back what was best for me, and I'm, I'm having a great career out of it. And, you know, with Justin, he's in the NBA doing good things, getting better and better every day. So, you know, whatever Kyrie needs to do to have a successful career, but 
thing about Kyrie is too, he, he's going to have a successful career just because his personality, how he approaches every game, and his mindset on defense men is going to take him a long way. So, you know, rather he comes back or goes pro, he, he's going to have a great career. Thank <laughs> you.